Okay, guys, so Matthew from the future, just reminding you that if you want to see more Alaskan gun, bushcraft, survival, and everyday carry content like the video you're about to watch, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. That helps the channel grow and helps me know that you guys like the content that I'm putting out, and it helps me know what content you guys want to see in the future. Okay, guys. <laughs> He's the little Bark River Knives bushcrafter, still the king of the woods. So, for those who don't know, it's been a long time since I've actually had one of these little guys in my hands. And finally, I have a Bark River Knives bushcrafter back in the fold. And I will say, I've actually been wanting to add one of these little guys back into my collection for quite some time now. It's just evaded me, and I finally decided to just say screw it and pull the trigger. These guys aren't the easiest to come by, and they're definitely not the cheapest uh, bushcrafting knife to get. But I will say, the original, not the uh, Bushcrafter LT or the Bushcrafter 2, though those are solid knives, the original Bushcrafter in CPM 3V has to be, hands down, one of my favorite bushcrafting knives ever invented, ever made, and still, I can largely say the same thing. Picking this knife back up after about two years of not having one, after owning one for three years, and two years of not having one, uh, definitely has made me absolutely fall right back in love with this knife. And my love for this knife, much like the Battle Horse Knives Battle Lore, is kind of hard to describe because when you look at this knife on the outside, you know, it doesn't really look like anything particularly special. It doesn't look like a wow, you know, that knife looks so cool. You know, it's not glimmering with a nice saw back or with it even jimping, though these knives can be had with jimping. I prefer them not to, but you know, this knife really it doesn't look like anything mesmerizing. You know, it doesn't have any fancy handle. The steel is fairly impressive. I will say CPM 3V is no slouch, even to the, today's standards. You know, this knife is, you know, a little bit old. But this blade here, I have to say, between the amazing ergonomics and the Scandivex mixed with that CPM 3V, is such a wonderful user. It's one of those knives that I honestly look at and I have the same exact thought of when I first got it. You know, it's a little bit on the small side, as you can see, you know, with my palm here. You know, it's just barely passing my palm, but I will say, that something about this 3.875 inch blade is just really it can do so much, but yet still seems so unobtrusive. This knife, honestly, you know, handles carving tasks and can really whittle away on a piece of wood like nobody's business and then turn right around and do just about anything you need in the wilderness. And that is probably one of my favorite things about this blade is, like I said, because of its Scandivax grind, it has this amazing ability to just bite into wood but at the same time, it's not such a large knife or so unwieldy that it becomes more of a problem. I'm not exactly sure, you know, with some of my favorite knives, something that I dislike about myself so much is my lack of ability to describe them. It's like when I hold something like, say, a Garber, or Gerber strong arm, you know, I'm able to sit there and say, yeah, the knife sucks because of this reason, this reason, and this reason. But when I have truly an amazing knife like this, it kind of leaves me speechless other than to say that, you know, this knife can honestly do just about whatever you need it to do, just about whatever you want it to do when it comes to bushcrafting. Now, I'm not going to sit here and try and sell this knife to everyone. I don't think the bushcrafter is the perfect knife. I don't think it's good at every thing in the world, but I do think that for a bushcrafter, this knife, ironically named the bushcrafter, or yeah, ironically named the bushcrafter, is a very, very good wilderness living knife. Whether you're wanting to form traps, carve intricate and delicate uh, things, just whatever you want to carve, or whether you want to harvest and process natural resources, this little blade does it all with such ease and such exceptionalisticness. 
and with such exceptionalism uh, that it keeps me coming back every time. And it's one of those knives that I've owned a lot of knives in my time. So whenever I buy a knife back, it's really like high praise because it's one of those knives that I've finally regretted enough selling or getting rid of or trading off or whatever that I just have to get it back. But honestly, in my video that I did, my original review on this blade, I said that this was the king of the woods. And for me, I still feel very much from a bushcrafting standpoint that the little Bark River Knives bushcrafter is very much still the king of the woods. So I don't really know much more what to say or how I can word this or what else, you know, I can give you guys uh, to say or convince you to give one of these things, give one of these guys a little check or, you know, to see, you know, what it's all about. But I can guarantee that if you do ever pick up a bar BRK Bushcrafter or if you ever use one, you'll be very impressed from the Scandi grind to the overall tough blade that this little guy is. So overall, guys, that's what I have to say about the Bark River Knives Bushcrafter. It is still the original king of the woods.